after receiving the anointment water, I was out of myself until when I realized where I was and I got up and I was feeling a new person. Where was the pain exactly? It was from my top of my brow here, coming down to my high cheekbone, down to my jaw here. And how did the pain really affect you in terms of you know, your daily life? How did it really cause you that pain? I, I was, it was diagnosed as nerve pain, that I suffered from nerve pain. And after receiving the anointment water, I totally feel a different person. Well, we give glory to God Almighty for what He is doing in your life. Um, you are now free from that pain you are experiencing uh, in your nerves and your, your face after ministering the anointing water. And so what, what can He say about the power of God in this anointing water? I, it's amazing. I, it's, it's more than words can say. I, if I go into words, I will never stop. No, but it's, um, it made me a different person as I'm today. Glory be to God. And uh, what do you want to encourage other people out there who may be suffering from similar situations? What do you want to advise them? Come along, give it a try, and they won't be disappointed in getting the anointing in water. And it will, it will work. It does work for me, and it will work for other people who believe in Christ. Deliverance continues. We can see the instant reaction of this woman as the anointed water is ministered to her. All that is not of Jesus, you must leave in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All that is not of Jesus, you must leave in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. Amen. Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. Amen. <laughs> we can see the Holy Spirit setting this lady free right now as she receives the anointing water from everything that has been troubling her, that evil spirit that has been tormenting her life. She's receiving her deliverance right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare you free in Jesus' name. Amen. We can see the woman as she begins to rise. Thank you, thank you Jesus. Thank you for setting me free. Amen. Testimony continues. My name is Felicia, I am from Sweden, originally from Mozambique. Okay. You're very welcome here today to Skowan, London. And tell us, uh, what were the problems that you here today? It's a spiritual husband. I used to dream of having sex with a, a man. He was chasing me many times and he was sleeping. Sometimes he could just come and sit on my bed and threatening me, do all kind of these stuff. Sometimes he wanted to have sex with me and I tried to fight with him, but he was always stronger. How did this affect your life negatively? Negatively, I couldn't have a lasting relationship. Every guy that ever came to my life, they always end up leaving me. The guy would actually come and declare all his love for me and then immediately, out of nowhere, would just disappear, even change their phone numbers and never wanted to have any contact with me whatsoever. And this occurred many times. So this last time I was, I have, I have, I'm in a relationship. I am getting to know a guy for three months almost. And he was also almost about to leave. By then I begin to think that this is not the will of God for my life. There must be something. I went to some churches, they prayed for me and I thought the problem was over. I thought I had been delivered, it was over. What would happen when, when you were prayed for? When I was prayed for, the Spirit used to speak through me that I was married to them ever since my childhood. I was born in their hands, I grew up in their hands. I was married to them and I will ever, never get married to a living man, ever. I thought I had been delivered, but the problem still continued. I tried to ignore, like maybe these men are running away from me because they are not in will of God. It is what I thought from the beginning, but all the men acted the same way. Then I start to suspect that no, they still have, it must be something else. Tell us, how did you find out about Sky and London and Emmanuel TV and the Ministry of Prophet TV Joshua? It was a friend who told me about Emmanuel TV. She told me, actually told her about my problem and she told me that I, she, she advised me to watch Emmanuel TV because she has seen many people get delivered from the same problem that I was in. So I watched Emmanuel TV and uh, I saw the move of God 
in those people's life. I was watching Emmanuel TV and the man of God was praying and he challenged people that it doesn't matter where you are, distance is not a barrier. God can still reach you. Just put your hand in a place where you have your pain. So I stood up in faith and I laid my hand on my leg, the place where I had pain for many, many, many years. And uh, I touched myself, I believed God to touch me, and immediately I thought, this is ridiculous. I know I believe in Jesus, but for him truly to touch me through TV, through, through internet, I didn't believe that. So I was like, eh, okay. But then I went to bed, I could sleep, I woke up, actually I tried to seek for pain. I tried to squeeze my leg to, to see if I could still feel pain. But ever since then, it has been five weeks now, no pain at all. In the service today, what, what was your experience? What happened when the anointing water was ministered? When the anointing water was sprayed on me, I felt so powerless. I felt the power of the Holy Spirit and I fell back. And when I was falling there, I was laying on the floor, I could see my father, my dead father. I could see him, that I could sense that it was his spirit that was in me. And he was uh, longing for me or something. He was even crying for me because he missed me or something kind of sick. And it came out. And then after that, I don't remember really what happened in between. I used to see my father always in a dream chasing me, wanting to kill me or wanting to beat me. If he couldn't get, the, he never get to touch me. He wanted always, he was chasing me in my dreams and he wanted to beat me, but he never got to beat me. And in his frustration, he always turned himself to my other siblings and beat them instead. Or even my dead mother was beating her instead because he could not touch me. So you were having the experience of seeing your dead father in the dream and as the anointing water was ministered, you saw that spirit of your dead father appear and it came out of you and then you lost the consciousness of what happened. But when, when you finally got up, what, what, what was your experience? How did you feel? Relieved and happy and I knew that I've been delivered. Tell us, as you're standing here right now, how, how are you feeling? I'm feeling really relieved, I'm happy and I know that God has delivered me. Um, you know, what would be your advice to other people concerning the power of God that's working through the anointing water? The power of God is real. God is real. He's still the same yesterday, today, as He always will be. And uh, there is power in the anointing water and in prayer and in His Word.